Uh, I'm an artist because it is the thing that I really feel I am the most called towards doing. Uh, the thing that that I'm really passionate about is art. I've always had a great respect for people who 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 dedicated themselves to uh, to the practice and the study of art, and I've always kind of wanted to be like those people myself. And it's just it's something that I that I really uh, that, that that I that I I really connect with. It, it feels it's important to me. Art is my medium of choice uh, for this for this show is the uh, is is black light neon, and it's it it's a very reactive medium. It. I thought it was very interesting because I could make a painting or a drawing and it could, and it would transform as soon as I flipped the lights on. And I was very, I was very interested in that concept, that idea with, uh, of, of transforming art, stuff that, that changes when it's, when it's, uh, has a new light shined on it. Uh, in this case, literally, uh, cause you know, it's black lights, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, it's just, uh, it's, it's a, it's a medium that I, I found very interesting, and I made a few pieces with it, and now, uh, that kind of just snowballed into me making an entire gallery of nothing but black light art. Let's see, uh, some of the most, uh, difficult things about working with, with, uh, with, with neon, uh, like neon paints, neon, uh, pencils is, uh, is the need to, to mix all of these colors individually uh, and mix all the, uh, make all the materials myself because uh, um, no nothing you'll see in my gallery is, is like a color or something or a mixture that you could just buy at the store. It's all stuff that I had to make uh, myself and I'd say that was, that was tricky getting that right, uh, getting the right mixtures right. It was, it was all, uh, experimentation was a, was a very big part of, of this project for me and I, uh, I definitely failed a lot, but uh, eventually I did sort of find a groove and, and things, you know, uh, that, that did work more often than they didn't. As far as being proud of uh, a specific work of art, I'm not... I mean, I, I, I like to think that each piece I make is sort of building towards the next one, is sort of... Uh, an experiment or a proof of concept for the next piece and I'm always trying to grow and to and to improve but uh, for, for this particular gallery I did make one one painting specifically for it uh, just in honor of the occasion because this is this was my very first uh, solo exhibition and it's it's at the Coop gallery and so I made one painting specifically dedicated to that uh, and it, it's titled was uh, was behold his majesty king of the coop and it was uh, a painting that I had made specifically for this show and because it was my first solo show uh, and it's being held in that gallery so yeah um I uh, applied for it um, most galleries have a uh, a sort of an application process and you can apply uh, some galleries have fees that you had to pay or like uh, like deposits you know uh, don't break a window or anything uh, so yeah it's it's just uh, yeah it's just a matter of putting everything together writing a proposal for a show um, making sure you actually do have everything that's needed <clears throat> Like uh, like having enough art to fill a gallery, for example, having enough stuff that's uh, that's just. But uh, yeah, just 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 making sure I had enough and um, that it was all gallery ready. You know, everything was wired, framed. I had to build all my canvases and uh, and mix all my paints and everything. But uh, yeah, uh, most most galleries have uh, like an official like application process you can just go through. Uh, it's usually on their websites, you know, but yeah, um, yeah, just submit the application, get approved, and then you're good.